Welcome back guys to the spring decor haul part two. Yes, I said part two. If you have not checked out um, or if you haven't saw part one, please head back over to my channel, check out part one, then come back to check out part two. I didn't want to make the video so long, so I did uh, chop it up into two parts because I went to um, a ton of stores and got uh, a ton of items. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right on into the spring um, decor haul part two, guys. So let me show you what I got. So the first store, or to continue on from part one, um, in the last couple of weeks that I have been shopping at, I went by Target, guys, and I got some awesome deals from Target and some steals. They had a lot of things on clearance at Target that were around on the shelves right around, I say January, February. And I saw a few of the items, but I did think, in all honesty, they were kind of pricey. They could have come down a few books and I'm glad I held out because I caught a few of those items on clear. So as you can see, I am in a new space filming. This will be my new space, which is my home office. Um, I have some wall art behind me and I love, love, love white and gold. So I found this curtain rod gold curtain rod by the company Project 62 um, because I wanted to keep in theme with my gold and white in here and I might incorporate another color that'll be a surprise for you all because um, this is pretty much my feature wall and I do want to paint it. I thought about painting it all white but I was like eh blah maybe I'll paint it another color so I can give my uh, white and gold decor a pop on the um, color for this room so I have to just try some different paint samples but anyway with this gold curtain rod I want to put up on my curtain and um, this particular curtain rod guys like I said it made by project 62 it was originally I think $40 it doesn't have the original price on here I don't believe I'm looking for it just in case but I did catch this um, on sale it wasn't on clearance but I just so happened to be looking on my Target app and this rod was I think it was $21.32 something like that regularly uh, $40 I think 30 or 40 dollars regularly this size is 36 by 66 inches so the next two items that i picked up from target were in the clearance section um these were two of the items and one of which i had been eyeing back in february and it was kind of pricey originally so i didn't really want to spend the pricey dollars for it so i'm glad i did wait and i got it for clearance that item is this gold and black planter so this gold and black planter guys was um originally 49.99 or 50 dollars guess what guys i got it for 34.98 pretty much 35 dollars okay, so the next items are just two more items that i picked up from target one of which also i did get on the clearance um rack i think i talked about this item in one of my previous decor hauls back for christmas time i regret it last year not picking one up but i did get lucky this year to catch one on clearance so i am so happy about it so that clearance item guys was this uh tower heater this is a lasco um lasco is the brand remote control ceramic uh pedestal heater So guys, this heater has a digital thermometer um, with a three year limited warranty. Um, it says widespread oscillation. It is a tower heater. It sits about um, a foot up off of the ground of which they're showing in the picture there. And it has a remote control. This heater was originally $50 of 40, oh actually. 
<laughs> I take that back. So this was $70 originally. Guys, I got this on clearance for half the price for $34.98. If you don't want to keep cutting your uh, air condition and your heater on um, left and right, get you a tower heater. Make sure you get you one with an auto uh, shut off button. Um, basically you can make this uh, particular one. It has an eight hour timer on it. So it will shut off eight, after eight hours automatically. Um, or you can set it for whatever time you want. Put it on at nighttime when it gets cooler because usually that is when it gets um, colder. And I put it on the auto uh, timer for about a couple of hours. It automatically shuts off by itself so I don't have to worry about burning my house down. If you miss out on those heaters at your local Target. Um, just remember, check in around, I say around after or about February to March. Um, they usually have a lot of them that go on clearance. Like I said, last year I missed out. Um, my local Target had several and I just declined and passed up the opportunity to pick one up, but I did not forget the opportunity or pass up the opportunity this year to pick one up and I'm so happy that I was able to get one on clearance especially um, a good name brand for half the price. Last two items that I picked up from Target um, was they weren't clearance items but they were well one of them was a sale item I picked up this t-shirt I mean who doesn't love a graphic tee and especially Tupac so this graphic tee originally was $12.99. I got it on sale, guys, for eight bucks. How cute is this to kind of throw on, make it a style of your own. You can twist it up in the front if you like, have you some little jeans on, heels, do your little makeup or whatever, or, you know, just wear it in the summertime with some tights, um, shorts, or some tennis shoes. So I picked that up. Tupac is a legend. I absolutely love him. And I think a lot of people do. Um, $8 instead of $12.99. These graphic tees sometimes, guys, can be, um, you know, kind of hitting up for about $15, $20. And, you know, I like to save a coin. So $8, I went ahead and picked it up. Okay, so the last item that I got from Target was not on sale and it wasn't clearance. Um, I don't want to show it on camera, sorry guys, because it's a gift for my mom. So it was originally priced at $30, uh, just about $30. So um, mom, if you are watching this video, um, I got your birthday present ahead of time. And that's just uh, one item to go with your continued uh, birthday present. So I'm not gonna show it to you on camera cause I know you look at my videos. So um, anyway guys, it has to do with music. Okay mom, that is a tip or that is a clue. So the next stop is Hobby Lobby. Um, I was looking at my IG and oh, Miss Liz Hart, one of my favorites here on YouTube. She reposted this um, item and several other items and I just said, oh my goodness, I have to run out and get this. Shame on you, Miss Liz Hart, you make me shop. But <laughs> I absolutely love pink. Miss Liz Hart loves pink as well. Like I said, the irony of that, I hated pink as I uh, when I was growing up. Younger, but as I got older, I absolutely love all shades pink, whether it be hot pink or light pink. So she posted these items and I just couldn't resist. I had to go to my local Hobby Lobby store and pick them up. Here are these two items. They are absolutely gorgeous. And I mean, they are so useful. So I don't feel like I lost out while getting them. So here are the two items that I picked up, guys. I'll show you the first one here. The first item that I picked up, the first item was this immersion blender with whisk. It has a two part attachment here and also a whisk. This item is made by the company Bella, originally $39.99. Now there are appliances in that particular section. They had these immersion blenders, they had crock pots, they had a popcorn machine maker, they had a coffee maker, they had a, not an ice machine, but I think a waffle maker or like a, 
a waffle cone maker like for your ice cream and they also have one more item I just can't think of oh an air fryer they had an air fryer and I almost was tempted in getting the air fryer I think I actually might go back and get it let me tell you what this is good for this is wonderful for any type of puree it's wonderful for like um mashed potatoes you can use it like i said the whisk to whisk things anything that uh, a recipe calls for you to whisk it and you don't want to you know just use your hand you want to whisk it pretty much when you're trying to get like egg whites uh stiff um in cakes or pastries this is good for that so i've been wanting one of these for a long time Originally $39.99. Let me see if I have the receipt. I don't think I have. Hold on. Okay, so this one, guys, like I said, originally $39.99. This one was on sale. It was 40% off. It came out to be $24, exactly uh, $23.99. So pretty good steal for one of these because these can be as pricey as up to $50, I believe, that I have seen in Macy's. And it is a pale pink color, which I absolutely adore and love. The next little appliance that I got also in that theme of color, pale pink, was this crock pot slow cooker. It's a one and a half uh, quart. Um, pretty cute, pretty, pretty cute. A little personalized crock pot for myself. Um, big enough for myself and big enough to have a little leftovers, you know. This one was originally $24.99, so it was a little bit cheaper than the uh, Immersion Blender. And this one, I had the receipt. Uh, again, this one was 40% off, guys. This one was $14.99 uh, to be exact. So uh, basically $16 with tax. I bought another item, one last item, which was some chalk for my chalkboard. Not too exciting. I don't think I have to show you that in this haul, but the liquid chalk, I used a 40% off coupon. It came out to be $29.99. So both the items basically were $19 and 46 cents. So I saved on that. So the next stores um i have two more stores in this part two of this haul um i went to marshall's on two different days um for the past couple of weeks i think i went one day last week and one day another week so i have a few items from marshall's to show you all and here they are got some more wall art um or art for my kitchen shelves i got this little cute black and white wall art Happiness is homemade. This wall art was $5.99. As you can see, I love black and white. And as what I have been telling you all, any chance I get to decorate in black and white on my kitchen wall shelves, I'm going to absolutely do so. I thought this would keep in the theme with my homemade sign. It would look absolutely adorable on my uh, kitchen wall shelves. So I can't wait to show you all what I do for the spring with these uh, little wall uh, wall art picks. Next little wall art pick was this one. You capture my heart, just like Cameron captured my heart with Lauren on Love Is Blind. If y'all haven't checked out Love Is Blind, where have you been under a rock? You all need to go check out Love Is Blind because this right here wall scene is exactly what. Cameron did to Lauren's heart and what he did to America's heart and all over the world. But anyway, I love Cameron, Cameron and Lauren. This wall art sign was $6.99. Um, you capture my heart. I thought this was so cute. Keeping in theme with the black and white, I got another item from my girl Ray Dunn at Marshall's. And I'm going to reach down here and get it off of the floor for you all. This item, Sweets Canister, was $9.99. I mean, how cute is this? Even if I wanna put some candy in here or I might wanna put some fresh baked cookies, I don't know yet, or I might just wanna leave it empty and just have it on my wild shelf as some decor. I mean, but how cute would that be on my shelf with this? I mean, how cute. Happiness is homemade and then Sweets too cute too cute the next place um that i went to which was just the other day was burlington um i got 
some really cute pieces from Burlington. So I like to say that I saved the best for last in this video. And um, I hope you all love these pieces just as much as I do. Um, and to be honest with you, I am not completely sold on where I'm gonna put these items yet. I have an idea, which obviously will be in some future upcoming videos. I can't wait to style with them though. And um, I can't wait to obviously show them um, to you all. So how cute is this wild art piece? It has pretty rose gold. I mean, pink, pretty much everything that I, I absolutely love. This wild art piece is made by Design District Studio. Let me tell you something. If you're looking for some girly wild art pieces or, um, you know, for your room, your home office. I love wild art pieces, obviously, for the home office like this. Um, your makeup room or maybe even your closet um, space, whatever. Uh, girl cave, woman cave. Burlington has some awesome, awesome wild art pieces. This uh, wild art piece, guys, I think it was $24.99. Yes, no, it was $19.99 at the bottom down here. $19.99. I don't know if the camera picked up the glitter on it. I'm trying to kind of show you, but uh, really, really cute. I picked this up for $19.99 from Burlington the other day. Um, like I said, I don't know exactly where I'm going to put this yet. I do have a few ideas, but I can't wait to show you all what I do with it in my next upcoming videos here in the future. I did kind of go a little wild art crazy, and I got this second wild art. I couldn't leave it behind. Look how cute he is. He reminds me of Mrs. Liz Hart's uh, little dog she has. I think her dog name is Nola. Liz, don't kill me if that's not your dog's name. But so, so cute. Um, it has St. Laurent, like a little St. Laurent um, purse in the background with the little girl dog with a bow. Oh my God. So. So girly, so cute. I couldn't leave it behind. It was $9.99, guys. On the way out the door, and I had already checked out and got the little dog wild art. Why did I have to look down and see this guy? I saw the red clearance tag and I was shook. I picked it up. Can you all see this wild art? So I have an absolute idea for this in my bar area. Again, keeping it a theme of gold. And let me come closer to the camera so you all can see the price. Yep, that's how much it was, $7.99. I do believe it was originally $20. So I got this nice fancy uh, thing for $8. Nice fancy wild art for $8. And I mean, this is pretty much a steal. There's nothing wrong with it. It has like this marble background. Uh, got your Prosecco, your vintage 1982. And I mean, I couldn't believe it was nothing wrong with it for $8. So I think that maybe it's just an older piece and they have some new pieces or some overage that they needed to get rid of. So they marked this one down for it to push off the shelf and I was the pusher to get it off the shelf. So $8 Burlington. The next stop up guys is going to be Home Goods. So let me go ahead and get those items out so you all can see what I got from there. I have one of the items here just on my desk and I'm gonna take it out of the bag. So from Home Goods, I picked up this gold mirror tray as you all have seen them all over. That's just my box light in the back. I'm trying not to shine it so um, that it won't be reflecting in this video, but how cute is this tray? I have an awesome idea for this gold tray. I'm pretty sure um, if all my home decor people are out there, you probably have an idea as to what I'm going to do with this tray, but 
stay tuned you'll see um once my bed gets delivered here in my master i'll show you how i decorate with this tray this tray guys was $24.99 and i can't wait to decorate with it I picked up one more item from um, Home Goods that same day. Also from Home Goods, I just can't get enough of dish towels. So I picked these dish towels up. Aren't they so cute? I love me some pink guys, which is so funny because I remember when I was younger, I hated the color pink, um, but I guess, you know, times have a change because I absolutely love pink um, whether it be hot pink or baby pink or just like a regular girly pink I absolutely love pink and I thought these dish towels were so cute to incorporate a pop of that pretty girly pink color in my kitchen especially for spring and doesn't it match well with the wreath that I just bought from TJ Maxx for spring I can't wait to do my home decor um, decorate with me my wall shelves because throughout the year I changed the items on my shelf and I can't wait for you all to see how I decorate with that wreath and these tiles in my kitchen. So these tiles were a pack of three guys which is pretty much awesome for the amount that I purchased them for. Six dollars so basically two dollars a tile and they aren't thin either. These are pretty much some real thick nice kitchen tiles so I picked those up. Keeping on with home goods, I have a few more items that I have to show. I did pick these items up a, sep a second separate weekend from um, that last shopping trip. But like I said, I've been hoarding these things for the past two weeks. So here are the items that I picked up um, prior to those other home goods items from another home goods. So guys, I got another wreath. I mean, I, what is it with me and wreath? I just think wreaths are not just for Christmas time, but wreaths are for the spring. I love me a black and white um, home decor, you know, so any chance I get, I'm trying to incorporate black and white somewhere in my kitchen. It's like I said, you saw the black and white um, items that were on my shelf for Christmas. And if you haven't, please go check that video out. It is, I believe, my second video on my uh, channel. Um, my Decorate With Me, how I transition from fall to Christmas. And you'll see those gorgeous items that I uh, had for black and white for Christmas. But anyway, going on to spring. This wreath was $19.99 from Home Goods. So I can't wait to show you all these two items that I picked up at Home Goods um, that day that I got that wreath. Um, when I was in that Home Goods, they were putting out and they had put out so much home decor and I just about lost my mind because all the home decor that they had put out, I mean, it was gorgeous guys. And of course I wanted to buy the whole store. but. You know, your girl couldn't buy the whole store, so I had to pick up the most significant pieces that I felt um, would fare well in my home and that I just loved. So, uh, the next item, I know y'all are gonna love. So this box, guys, I got for my living room. I currently have my remotes kind of in a toothbrush holder. It's like an acrylic toothbrush holder slash pencil holder that is sitting on my mirror tray in my living room. But like I said, I am in a transitional state of all my home decor. And this box is going to match perfectly with my new TV console. As you can see, I love gold. This is kind of like a gold and white um, decorative piece box i mean it's beautiful and it's decorative and um key trick here guys you can hide your remotes you don't have to just store you know unpleasant things or you know stuff that i guess jewels or whatever but you can store your remotes in these kind of decorative boxes and what better way to have 
a secret treasure inside not showing your remotes but to decorate with it you know on your tv console or wherever like your side table so i picked that up and this was $19.99 i can't wait to show you all this next item i picked up and it'll be the last item that i picked up from home goods um it's this keeping in the theme of trays it is this beautiful 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 girly tray I thought this mirror tray would look awesome in my bedroom to store my perfume bottles on it. What better way to keep it girly, nice, quaint, and cute with a diamond luxe tray. Um, this tray was $19.99. I mean, $19.99 was pretty much what all the trays and boxes cost. Okay guys, that is the end of part two of the Spring Decor Haul. If you haven't seen part one, head on over to my channel or click the in-house link and go and check out part one because I wouldn't want you to miss out on the other items that I um, hauled into uh, the last video. Like I said, um, this channel is all things home decor. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I don't have a consistent schedule yet, but don't forget to hit your notification bell. It will let you know when I do upload. I'm trying to upload and stay um, consistent with you guys, at least with a video every week, at least bringing one video to you guys uh, once a week. Anyway, guys, um, until the next video, I have some great um, new videos coming up for you guys in the future. Um, so stay tuned, guys. I love you guys so much. By the end of this year, I am trying to uh, get to my minimum thousand subscribers so if you all know anyone who is shopping for a home in their existing home looking for a new apartment condo whatever loft crib um refer them over to my channel on youtube guys give let them um see my ideas hopefully they'll get some inspiration hopefully they'll subscribe don't forget to let them know click like and subscribe don't you forget to click like and subscribe all things home decor over here and you'll also see me vlogging um you know we straight vlog and haul over here on this channel guys so um love you all thanks and see y'all in the next video peace If you all haven't caught Love is Blind, you need to hit near or local. I just can't wait. They're so cute.